top scorer for the last few matches in the opposite position. Oh, with a little bit of style comes Danielle Aponza, number 23. Wearing the libero jersey, the number one, Roosevelt Ramos. And I think Danielle Medina, number 12, snuck in there as well. There's the head coach, Jorinho, head coach since 2021, previously the assistant coach, and with the under-21 squad, Brazilian. Well, Mexico ready to show us what they've got in their starting lineup. The captain and the libero, Hiram Bravo, 23 years old. Fair amount of awards to his name. Joining him, Victor Para, 24-year-old middle blocker. Josue Lopez, the 21-year-old outside hitter as well. Who's headed to play his volleyball in France next season. So number nine, Axel Rodriguez in the middle. Number 19. There is Mauro Fuentes, the number 12. And the number 19, Luis. Luis Baca. And 96, Miguel Garcia. Head coach, Jorge Adher Lopez. He's been the head coach on and off since 2010. Heavily involved in the youth national teams as well as the women's national team. Well, there is everything to play for here. Whoever wins this match goes on to the quarterfinals, will face Cuba in an effort to get themselves into the finals. Actually, I think that's a mistake. I think they play not Cuba, but the second position of the other pool. Cuba will play whoever finishes third in pool B. Here we go then, underway we are. Mexico on the right in the white, Colombia on the left in the blue. And the first point goes the way of Colombia. Alado Ando with a little bit too much underneath it. 25-year-old out opposite, nicknamed Timba. Look out for him throughout the match. Mexico, looking for the floor. Don't get it just yet. Big swing off the hands, that'll do. Colombia can't handle the serve. Great recovery. Free ball. Mexico to the outside. Good defensive play. Arajondo. He's dug. Ball's coming back over. Rally continues. Colombia finally putting enough heat on it to send it into the sidelines. I'm always a little bit nervous when the players jump over the barriers like that. You just never know what's on the other side.
Bravo puts it in. And to the outside, Mauro Fuentes, 26-year-old outside hitter. He's one of the big guns for Mexico. Keep an eye out for him. Colombia running it down. Tipped right over the block, comes back in play. Ramos all over it. On the outside, a heavy arm. Well, there's the joust through the middle. And it's actually Leandro Mejia, the 26-year-old middle blocker, pushing that space towards the outside. Captain has a serve. Hang on a sec, where did that come up? On the back of the foot. Free ball for Colombia. Can they capitalize through the middle? Yes, they can. Well, okay, okay. Hang on a sec. That, I have never in my entire career seen a play like that. That ball fell off the hands of the blockers and off the back of the leg of the defender on the floor. That's hilarious. Oh, Mexico. Not letting Cuba bask in any glory for any length of time. Colombia with a great ball into the middle. That's Doug. Bravo keeps it in play. And Mexico can convert. It all starts with a big swing. How's that defense right there? Bravo just gets enough under it. And eventually, Garcia has the swing. Another heavy swing this time, Colombia's side. A one on one advantage all day long. Tight ball, great block by Garcia, who's back in the setting spot where he's more comfortable. Lara Hondo is comfortable everywhere. Timba played in Libya, Spain, Cyprus, Argentina. Was planning to head over to Israel this season. Unlikely that that'll happen. He's currently looking for a team if anyone's looking for a big opposite. Lopez, 21-year-old outside hitter, gets it done. Going just off the hands of the middle. Raponza trying to finish into the court. Great ball up. The pipe. Sniper from the back court. Andres Pisa, 32 year old outside hitter. Just pops up like a snake in the grass. Almost didn't even see him coming. It is a massive point for Mexico. Well, so little space to work with around the block, and he finds it. Tying us up at sevens. Colombia, swing and recycle. 
Again through the middle, good scrappiness on Mexico's side. But the point will land squarely on Colombia's. Daniela Ponza, 22-year-old middle blocker. Quick enough, high enough. Colombia in the hunt. Timba off the hands. Good scrap by Bravo, but I think it hit the floor. Coach Jorge Azea Lopez didn't like the sound of that. But no challenges happening in this men's competition. Tip and cover. Off hands goes Mexico. Luis Baca, the 22-year-old opposite, starting to heat up. Baca now the top scorer with four points. Timbat trying to catch up. Barajondo, the Spanish Cup second division winner, 2020. Love the power he puts behind the ball, puts an entire shoulder, arm, all that body weight going behind the ball. Mexico keeping it in play. Can't pop it over. Colombia take it. That's a little bit of space now spread between the two teams. Ramos having a chat with the front court players. Well, yes, indeed, it is. Bit of height there between those players. Placedo, 191. Mejia, two meters tall. Mexico, though, say no touch. I'll take that point. Powerful play. There's the swing. Ball's coming back on Mexico's side. It's got to be a free ball. Easily handled by Ramos, the 20-year-old libero. And the finish on the outside for Colombia. Finds the floor on Mexico's side. That's a perfect ball in and just a little tickle over the blockers, and it's not always the hard-driven ball. Casado proving at just 22 years old, he's got all the tools in his kit. Mexico on the pipe, unraveling. Jose Lopez, best outside of the Central American and Caribbean Games 2023. Just pummels that ball down between two blockers. And again, that ball from the backcourt, so difficult to defend. All the other blockers have different assignments of the front row attackers. Fuentes puts some heat on it. That's Doug. Another opportunity, two hands. That's thrown. High ball for Colombia into the block. Recycled free ball coming from Ramos deep into the court. Mexico. Trying to make something of this. Another good pickup on Colombia's side. Pisa for the corner. No. Tied up at 12s. Colombia giving up their lead. Mexico find the middle back. 
Arahondo finds the hands. Arahondo, a full 198 centimeters of him, comes flying in from the backcourt, and he's using his shoulder to aim that ball just down the line. Blocker's giving him enough space to work with. Float serve comes from Mexico. It's off the net to the hands. Colombia, not a perfect reception. Looking for touch. Yes, sir. Colombia will take the point. Arahondo getting just the tiniest of touches there. Ball was technically out. Here comes Juan Ambuila, that 31-year-old setter. Oh, what a cross swing through the middle. Mexico establishing that zone. Axel Rodriguez, 24-year-old. Middle blocker gets that one done. Rodriguez goes for a top spin. Columbia up by two. Mexico trying to close the gap again. That's not going to do it. Missed attempt. So a three-point spread for the boys in blue. Starts with that tough serve. Mexico's way off the net, and the ball coming from behind the three-meter line means the setter cannot run his options. Much easier for Colombia's block there. Sixteen, thirteen lead. Caicedo. Oh, great tip right into the donut. And I like Miguel Garcia running that middle action, finding twenty-four-year-old Victor Pada. Again, you gotta establish that zone. Keep the blockers guessing. 21-year-old now at the line. Off hands. Mexico handle it perfectly. Bravo underneath it. And again, the middle running. Firing it in. Victor Prada was the best middle of the Pan Am Games under 23 in 2021. Gets barely a block in front of him. That's a great combination play. Miguel Garcia Regendez. Fires it in. Timeout called. Mexico with the serve. Just a one point advantage for Colombia. Can they keep it? Yes, a big staff block on the outside. Uh, Ponza and Larajondo together. Great pressure on the arms. Aponza. Was the best middle of the South American champs 2023. His team got bronze there.
Floating serve. How's that for tagging the line? Columbia thought that might have been out. Looked like they left that. Came off just off the hands. So Mexico can keep it. Well left, Colombia point for the blue. Larajondo. Well, he's looking for that corner. I like that aggressive serve. Just goes long. The right idea, though, to try and find those corners. Ramos pops it in. Off the hands goes Pisa. Pisa's played in Cyprus, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain. France, Greece, he's one of the most experienced players on this side. He's certainly been around the block a few years. Same thing, going for the end line, going for that deep shot. Here comes Mexico to respond. That one popping on to Pisa's chest. An ace serve, Mexico. Give it up to Luis Vaca. The spin on that, and you see it perfectly from that end line. I mean, it just looks like it's dropping, and then it deep floats, changes direction midair. Great serve. Timeout called. Mexico coming back, tying it up at 19. Not for long, Colombia with the response through the middle. Mejia, another player with a bit of international experience, Greece, Argentina, Romania, now over in Switzerland with that quick arm. And Colombia keep the edge here. Perfect ball in for Mexico. And the block, well, just barely wide. It's a heavy enough swing to force it out on the other side. Mauro Fuentes. Another player that had signed for Israel next season, unlikely to play over there. If things continue the way they are. I think most sporting events have been canceled. Mexico tie it up again. Bump set to the back. And a good hang in the air. Luis Baca basically defying gravity. Mexico. Get Colombia on the back foot. The block is good, and it's a big one. That puts Mexico in the lead. Well, out of Hondo on the outside. Not his comfortable position, but has to play it there. Just for that one rotation when the setter's in the right back. 
Well left, Columbia. Tied up again. Oh, and it's Columbia to respond with a block of their own. Daniela Ponza gets really athletic, makes that move, closing up the gap from all the way on the other side of the court. Ponza's played in Finland, now over in Slovenia. I think we got a timeout again. Good match on our hands. Columbia up by one. It's been a flip-flop of scores. Who's going to hit that set point mark first? Harold Casado. Tough serve. Mexico handle it to the outside, into the block, stays in play. Another opportunity behind for Columbia. Get the touch, get the point. And a two point spread. Stand up, stand up. Now everybody clap your hands. Excellent work by the boys in blue, and they now have the first set point on the board. Harold Casado plays in Portugal to serve. Just long, can't capitalize on that opportunity. Mexico now back in it. Great ball in, Colombia, get it done. Off the right arm of Gustavo Larondo. Well, Mexico certainly made them work for it. Nothing easy about that set. Este octubre, el escenario más grande del continente se convierte en un espectáculo global. Por primera vez en la historia, los Juegos Panamericanos serán transmitidos en vivo para todo el mundo a través del Panasport Channel. Más de 6.900 atletas. 1900 horas de acción, 41 países, 31 clasificatorios olímpicos, 9 señales en vivo. No te pierdas Santiago 2023, en vivo y totalmente gratis, del 20 de octubre al 5 de noviembre. Transmisión en la web, aplicaciones móviles y de TV. Descarga ahora para Sport Channel, el canal oficial de los Juegos Panamericanos para el Mundo. First point is a free one in the pocket for Colombia. DJ Stari with the jokes, telling the boys to calm down. Colombia looking for the touches. No touches given, so Mexico take the point. Victor Para. 
won the Mexican League last season. Chance for Columbia through the middle. That's blocked. Lara Hondo sends one off the hands and out. And it's so tough to control that attack. He is putting all that body weight behind it. The problem there for Mexico and Axel Rodriguez. The hands are facing out of bounds towards the attacker rather than back towards the center of the court. From the pipe, aggressive. And again, that ball so tough to see it coming. Pops up right behind the middle blocker. Jorge Azir Lopez coached the men in men's Pan Am Cup gold medal in 2021. Got bronze there in 2019, silver in 2013. What a swing from Mexico. Perfect ball in, barely has to move. And look at the over shoulder finish. That's Axel Rodriguez, the best middle blocker of the Pan Am Cup in 2023. Plays out in Spain. Ooh, Lara Hondo with the Matrix. Coach Jorge Schmidt, Jorginho, telling all his players to stack out on the right side, try and make it difficult for the receiver to see the server. They do indeed get a simple ball back. Can it be converted into the hands of the blockers and back into the court? Mexico's say not today. Three blockers up, taking up a lot of space. And that's the finish, pushing the hands back towards the court. Makes all the difference. Rodriguez. Almost finds the floor with the help from the tape, but the speed of the arm is everything. Daniel Laponza. Watch that over shoulder as well. Both the middles just showing off here. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation, and that is all Ponza getting that done. Colombia still trying to screen their server. Only works if the serve goes in. Well, you've heard of screening in basketball, but in volleyball, it's when all the front court players kind of stand in one zone and try and block the view of the receiver while he's watching that serve. Ponza. Oh, excuse me, Laura Hondo, not Ponza. Free ball back for Colombia. That time. Let's give that one to a Ponza. I'm just giving him points all over the place. Great run down. Bravo to keep it in play, but a free ball opportunity means middle blocker all day long. And look at him just changing directions. He likes to go back towards his left shoulder. Mexico wants to see the touch called. They'll get it. Point does go to Mexico. Here's another look at it. Just off the hands of Mejia. He's saying, no, no, I did touch it. No need to argue. Touch or no touch, that ball is putting a hole in the floor. It's a middles masterclass today between these two teams. Mejia unloading. 
Yeah, part of that South American Champs bronze medal team this summer. An ace serve for Lada Hondo. That tips the scales back in Colombia's favor and flavor. Another big block. Maria is just heating up in the middle. Mexico finding it really tough to get past the blockers. That ball a little inside for Vaca Hernandez. So a two point spread for Colombia. They've still got that first set in the bag. Mexico bump set to the outside. Looking for hands, still in play. Another opportunity quick to the middle. It is the middles getting it done. Love that all the players spread open the offense there, working hard to create attack approach areas. Para. Colombia's off the net, swinging into hands, and it's wide just by a hair. Good, well-formed block, but again, the hands just enough to the outside. Two points ahead is Colombia. Mexico handled the serve well. There's the tip just over the block. Nicely done. Jose Lopez. Doesn't have to swing too hard. Won the Mexican League in 2019. Another middle attack. Another smash. That one belonging to Leandro Mejia. Also known as Leo. Both these teams really accentuating the middle zone of the net. Haven't been able to slow it down on either side yet, so whatever works, keep running it. Some good serves, or I should say good serve receives. Allowing the setters to run that offense. One step off to the outside. Doug, Mexico, pops it back in. Tight shot. Goes just on the sideline. Colombia find the floor. I thought that ball was done already. But there it is from Aponza. Looking a little deeper. Almost missed that ball to the sideline. Short serve. Bravo's on it. One handed set behind. Roll. Setters out from Colombia's side. And Mexico get the block, tagging the line on the other side of the court. Unexpected. As Lara Hondo unleashes there. But the ball's a little bit inside. He's turning off the hands in that direction. It's a great block, Mexico. Rodriguez. Columbia's out of system. There's the pickup. It's gone into the stadium, way into the stands. There must be a lot of power on that. Sent the molten way up into the stands. I say no. Looks for Bravo, he's on the floor. Ooh, popped over and back. 
Recycled again. Cross court dig out of Ramos and Colombia can get going. Pisa, the Bahrain Cup winner 2019, finishes that off for Colombia, but some fantastic defensive work. Pisa's flying, floating towards the outside. Does really well to execute. Mexico want to have a timeout. Colombia putting a lot of pressure on Mexico's block. Head coach Jorge Azer Lopez saying we're still just at the beginning. Do not let up. It's so important in volleyball to just the mental aspect of it psychologically convince yourself every single point is yours to win. If you just play that point by point game, don't look at the score, don't look at the stats. Play each point like it's an individual point and there you go Mexico winning that individual point with an ace serve from the setter Miguel Garcia Resendez well Colombia don't like the direction this is headed in so we got another timeout Mexico looking for a second ace serve. Oh, and they get it. They do it. Excellent finish. Two aces in a row for Mexico. Miguel Garcia Resendez unleashing and getting a bit of luck too. Four aces so far for Mexico. Goes for another one this time, handled. Colombia responding. And it does tag the blockers and fall deep. Columbia stopped that run. Great set from off the court. And an ace serve this time. Columbia, the screening pays off. Columbia up by one, targeting that corner shot on Lopez. Aponza again. Bolivarian Games gold medal winner in 2022. Can he get another ace? Nope. Mexico just down by one. Marondo off the hands. Quick to the middle, it's low, well saved. And another pickup, Mexico this time on the outside. Two-handed throw, simple free ball to the outside and it's quick. The speed of a middle, but the power of an outside, pizza. 
running a two quick tempos. Gets Columbia in a really good position. And it should be 17 to 15. Columbia taking that last point. There it is. A little bit of delay in the action. We don't have any challenges available, so I'm not sure what the delay is. Ah, oh, here it is. Perhaps a little bit of medical timeout. Got a little scratch. If there's blood on the court, it has to be covered. There's always time for putting a Band-Aid or getting some paper towels or something. Hondo from the service line. Mexico on the outside, just wide. Fuentes, who's typically one of the best scorers for the Mexican side, has been relatively quiet today. Fuentes, only three points so far. Much lower than his average. Behind. Swinging off hands and out. That one off of Luis Baca Hernandez, the Pan Am Cup under 19 winner in 2017. Won the under 23 Pan Am Cup 2021. Mexico's down by two, Colombia. Off the platform of Pisa. Ball's coming back in as well. Something's called somewhere. Whistle's blown, Colombia. Mexico still in this second set, down just by one. Make that zero, tying it up. The block off of Larondo on the way back. Uh, keep it in play, tries his best. Did not know his libero was right underneath him. Ramos, best libero of the Pan Am Games under 23 in 2021, was right there. Block from Mexico. Great choice and a one-handed stuff. Axel Rodriguez just showing off. Well, they had something in the bag there. Columbia, tie it up again. We're back at 19. Pisa keeps it in play. Mexico on the right side, off the block, but it lands back where it came from. So Colombia take the point. Mexico's high and out of system there. So the right thing is for the players to cover their hitters he didn't have a good opportunity to swing, but the blockers, they like it. 20 to 19. Colombia looking for Bravo. Off the hands. Oh, it's still in play. Is it? It was for a little while there. I thought I saw four touches on that first contact of Colombia's side. Back to 20s. Not going to get it done. Colombia are on the verge. We'll have a timeout. No, we won't have a timeout. Excuse me. We'll have a substitution. Comes the number 12, Daniel Medina. 23-year-old outside hitter. 
played last season in Israel. Just for the serve. It's a strong one. Mexico tip it back. Behind Talada Hondo into hands. That's covered. Going again. Has to roll it just off the tape. Well, Mexico had their opportunities there. And the coach asking, where's the cover? Where are the bodies on the floor? Hondo was not in the driver's seat there. That was a disadvantage for Colombia. Nevertheless, they are up. Time out. Mexico's head coach asking for a little bit of decision making out of his players. Go with authority when they make those decisions. That's a good one from Mexico through the middle. Great decision, Axel Rodriguez. With the best middle of the Pan Am Cup under 19 back in 2017, his team won gold there. Two meters and five is Rodriguez at the net. Gotta use that advantage. Fuentes, who's played in Spain, Brazil, the Ontario Matadors in the USA. Great serve. Oh, not handled. I'm not sure about that call. The first touch, Mexico. It looked like it went into the block of Colombia and then was replayed by the same person. So the question is, was it a double contact or did Colombia touch it? We won't get a replay on it and there's no challenge in place. Colombia take the point. Well, that's a quick and important response out of Rodriguez. Mexico could not allow themselves. They couldn't allow themselves to dwell on that point. It should be 23-22 on your screen. Should now be 24-22, set point, Colombia. Rodriguez has been struggling with his serve all match long. Opportunity for Colombia to close it out. It's 24 22. Jorge Mesa, 23 year old setter, comes in for the serve. It's in a good place. Mexico into the hands. Colombia can't stop it. So Mexico keep themselves alive for one more point. Substitution reversed. Mexico to serve. 23. They have to make something of this because it is still set point Colombia. Ball's in play. Out of system. The swing. And it's gone. And Colombia take the second set. 25-23. Se perfilará de revés, no, la mueve de derecho, excelente, vamos. Juana, vos también puedes hacerlo.
El deporte vive en ti. Juegos Panamericanos y para Panamericanos Santiago 2023, del 20 de octubre al 26 de noviembre. Heavy serve from Lara Hondo. Mexico get one off the hands. Mexico are in it, keep themselves alive. Great scramble to play that up. Easy pick up, Colombia on the outside. Pisa finds the floor. Looks for the sideline, past the blocker's hands. Well, it was a free ball opportunity, had to be handled. And we saw Mejia up holding the block. Ooh, a lot of Honda like that one. Pisa now at the line. Mexico on the outside. Bringing some heat is Fuentes. Two, two. Does it tag the floor? No, good work by Colombia. Chance again to go deep, that's Doug. Fuentes, off the hands, yes, he does. Well, Fuentes again, an important part of this Mexican offense. Needs to find a way to get him involved. Goes through the hands of the blockers there. Hondo continuing to do what he's been doing all match long. There are the service faults so far. Colombia has given up 10, Mexico. Eight. Point stays with Colombia. Looks like there was a touch on it. Mexico arguing it. There's another look at it. Just hanging in the air ever so slightly potentially just caught the outside wrist of the blocker. Well left for Mexico. I always find it funny when the servers put their hand up and say, that was my fault. You're literally the only one who touched the wall. It couldn't be anyone else's fault. But we've all been there. Hondo on the outside, still equally as dangerous. Now he's a go-to over and over, catches that waterfall underneath the block. Quick to the middle, correct decision for Mexico. Get Pata in it. Well worked by the setter, Hernandez. And that takes a lot of power as well to put that flat enough, high enough from off the net there. He's basically in zone one when he's setting it. Free ball for Mexico. 
Chance to capitalize off the hands. Yes, in the defense. Mexico take a two point lead. Short ball drops outside. Oh, on the floor. Super excellent spike on the outside. Walks in a pretty good position, but look how much line there is to use. Just a one on one after the blockers in the middle. Jumping with Aponza. Outside free ball. Pulls up again on the outside. Doug. Bravo's on it. Mexico find the floor. That's Luis Baca Hernandez. Ripping one past the block and it's just inside the hands. Box in a pretty good position there. Into hands, no. Free point for Mexico. Well, Mexico playing great ball right now. It's a timeout. Colombia, they are down by three. Mexico to serve. Swing from Pisa on the outside. Doesn't need much of an approach. Just kind of stands and jumps. Finds that cross court. It's straight up and down. Does make that movement with a couple of feet inside. Marondo already off to grab the ball. Focus on his serve. And he does. For good reason. An ace serve, Colombia. Marondo. Taking charge from the end line. Can't get a second one going. There are the service errors again, the bottom of your screen. 12 to four Columbia, giving up a few points there. Pisa, off hands. Oh, it's defended, but no one ready to play the second touch. Columbia down by one. Flips the tape. Mexico goes off the block and out of bounds. Spread that point advantage back to two. And I like that heavy arm on the outside. Again, the blockers doing well to get there, but swinging high and hard, just aiming for the fingertips. It's really tough to control the block from up there. Colombia's out of system. Oh, so is Mexico now, free ball. Back to Larajondo, who ripped it, line. No block, no defense. Point Columbia. Great effort by the boys in blue to keep the ball in play. And look at the amount of line there. Fuentes is leaving. Not a Hondo, one of those players that can change it up mid-air. He sees the line, he'll take it. Sees the cross court, he'll take that too. Block up early. Good Rodriguez. Just aiming for the armpits, looks like. Again, tough to control the block unless that ball hits right where your arms are, your hands are. Easy to be used in the blocking position. Pisa hits that back for his team. 
Quick one over from the setter. Ambuila getting involved in the offense. Not often that the setters do that. When they do, it is a thing of beauty. Greece, Libya, Cyprus, Saudi Arabia. That is where Ambuila has been honing his craft over the years, playing professionally in all those countries. Chance to be used for Colombia. And a second time, does it tag someone? No, no touch by Mexico. They keep their lead. Good change of direction too. He's going over that inside shoulder, kind of twisting the whole body around the ball to add that momentum on it. Colombia need a response sooner rather than later. That'll do. How's that for a response? A lot of hondo. And Ramos getting the crowd involved. Why not hype him up? Perfect ball in from the libero. And Lada Hondo waits for the ball to tag the line. Then he goes underneath that momentum, stopping for no one. Does well to wait until he's back on his side before he cheers as well. say Beltre of the Dominican Republic not having any of that ch chat from Colombia. The question was, did the attacker have that ball come back off their shoulder? Answer is no. Point for Mexico, they're up by two still. Arajondo pushes into the block. Second opportunity, better. He needs that little bit of space from the net, Arajondo. Not the kind of attacker that can go on a really tight ball, but he does well to recycle it there. Gets back a better ball. He likes that. Just that amount of space for him to go off the fingers, the side of the block, the side of the hand. Colombia trying to catch up. Well, that's only three touches, according to the referee. So the point stays with Colombia. It was hard to tell in that first contact. There might have been two players on it at the same time. Doesn't matter. A lot of Hondo said, let's just close this out right here. Big heavy swing and a timeout called. Fourteen all. Mexico trying to get their lead back. A oh, great recycle. And the rundown play by Colombia. Free ball. Mexico to the outside. No, the pipe. And the stuff block Colombia. That is what you do in the middle. Leandro Mejia. How oh, is the rundown as well? He's all the way off the court and one on one. That is teamwork, Colombia. Aponza looks to the deep. High into the block, high over the defense, and the block looking good. Colombia back to the lead. Great finish there. Again, it's Mejia at the center of it. Hi. 
High to the outside, off hands. Good recovery by Mexico. Good wide set, just dying a little inside, in fact. I think that's what Luis Baca Hernandez is asking. Maybe a bit more width, he could go down the line there. Does well to work through the hands of the block, nevertheless. Stacking now is Mexico on their right side, so expect that ball to go down to Pisa in the reception. Oh, ho, ho, wow. Colombia unleashing. Great work by Casado to pop that off the floor. But is there a second, third, fourth gear for this man right here, Mejia? He's definitely on one of them. Alhondo. Not yet an A serve. Does get some bodies on the floor. Same thing for Colombia. There's the rip, the touch, and Colombia take the point. And a break point, an important one from the service line. Well, Mexico trying to find some solutions here. Colombia pull away at the end. One of them, substitution. Big stuff, huge, enormous, gigantic, crushing block from Colombia. That ball straight back down, no chance to cover that. Alejandro Mejia hyping up his team. Well, right on cue, Mexico. If they want to have a little timeout. They're going to need a chat and more. 15 to 19.
Well, Columbia came back and in some crazy style, Coach has something special for La Hondo. He's happy with that result and why not? There's the grin, Columbia. They played Baca with 13 points, Rodriguez with 10, Fuentes putting up nine, Pata as well at six, but ultimately not enough. There are the overall statistics. 10 blocks to nine, 15 digs to five, and the aces pretty even Stevens. Mexico giving up too much in the serves, 13 errors in the serve, and then a few less attacks all bundled together mean that Colombia was the team to beat. Well, make sure you tune in. Quarterfinals are beginning tomorrow, and you're not going to want to miss them. Congratulations again to Colombia. But for now, from all of us at the Pan American Games, thank you for watching. My name's Key Michael. We'll catch you on the next one. Este octubre, el escenario más grande del continente se convierte en un espectáculo global. Por primera vez en la historia, los Juegos Panamericanos serán transmitidos en vivo para todo el mundo a través del Panasport Channel. Más de 6.900 atletas. 1.900 horas de acción. 41 países. 31 clasificatorios olímpicos. 9 señales en vivo. No te pierdas Santiago 2023. En vivo y totalmente gratis. Del 20 de octubre al 5 de noviembre. Transmisión en la web, aplicaciones móviles y de TV. Descarga ahora. Para Sport Channel, el canal oficial de los Juegos Panamericanos para el Mundo.